Hello, my wellness warriors. Ensuing my own March madness by bringing a daily reading for the whole month. I'm intuitive healer, author, warrior for your wellness, Trisha Gumberg. The energy first of 2020. Yesterday, I mentioned that it's about clear vision. And as a numerologist, we would add it together. Two plus two is four. And four means work and applying a step-by-step -step process to meet your goals. So that's the umbrella of energy that you can tap into um, to get your to-do list to done. Speaking of that, uh, the, we're going to pull a, a card for today's energy. Uh, this is actually how I got my uh, book accomplished and how I support uh, entrepreneurs is by really tapping in daily to the numerology. So today's numerology, we add the day, the month, and the year. So you already know the year is four. Today is the third, and it is the third month. So that gives us a 10. We add it again, and we get a one. This formula also is the formula you get used to get your life path number. So if your number repeats today, if you have a, if you're the life path one, um, pay special attention to the message that I pull. And then of course, if you have a four in your numerology, um, this is just giving you another, another supportive chance to use those attributes of the number four. Okay, I'm going to intuitively pick one of the attributes I'm assuming, yep, yeah, I'm getting one. Huh? Beginnings. New beginnings. I have, I'm a one life path number. And this here is a new beginning. Done videos before. I do numerology readings. This is my first video. To, okay, second. I did, that's what gave me the idea. I did it for someone else. Just on the spur of the moment. Okay. New beginnings. If you're an entrepreneur, now Mercury is in retrograde, so um, you may not want to make anything like big and official, um, signing any contracts for new beginnings, uh, you know, but because Mercury is in retrograde, now is the time to consider uh, new beginnings. And then when it's not in retrograde, then start them. So reflect, review, um things that you could start. All right, let's get some clarity. Let's get some clarity. These are Ask Your Guides. This is my very first set. Yeah, this was the beginning of me reading Oracle cards, led me to create my own. Mm -hmm, cool, huh? So I just um, divide the deck in half is where I start, and I'm asking for only one card, and then I just keep dividing the deck until I get it down to a few and then I touch each one I get I get a signal feels like cheating it's not cheating but saying yes to who I am okay yep here it is okay why oh yeah I should have mentioned while I'm uh, shuffling the cards, looking for a card, you could be taking your bottom of your belly breaths, your bobs. <sighs> that feels good. Okay. Self-esteem. <laughs> this is, self-esteem is the energy of the number one. It's a tricky point. So how it works with the number one. Number one is about leadership and beginnings, right? Starting new things. That's scary and we get tripped up by our self-esteem and we don't take that scary first step. Now we've just related the four into our reading today. It only takes one teeny tiny little step. Like with that beginnings, if you wanted to begin something new, just look it up. Oh, I think I might want to do uh, be a yoga teacher, get certified in yoga. Well, just look it up. You don't have to, you know, put down a $3,000 deposit. Just look it up. Just do one 
teeny tiny little step. Look at this beautiful card. Uh, it's showing all the support that you have uh, that you're not aware of. And if you uh, appreciate the guidance from angels, it suggests that you speak to Archangel Michael. Look at this beautiful card. Okay. Self-esteem. Find ways to, you know, that's just ego BS, you realize, right? When you hear, um, you can't do this, or that's not a good idea, or, you know, it's just baloney. That's why we're here. Say yes to who you are. What's your numerology? Well, that could give you a clue. If you really have no clue into what you need to begin, your numerology could bring it to you. Okay, what a beautiful message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't not start something because you think that you're not good at it. You practice. I mentioned that yesterday about athletes. They had have an innate talent. They practice every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. From my heart to yours, I hope you can begin something exciting. Until next time, know that I love you.